And hundreds of thousands of black soldiers served during World War II. Only seven have been awarded the Medal of Honor and none for what happened on D-Day 75 years ago. But now there is a renewed effort to get one D-Day hero from West Philadelphia, the nation's highest honor. Jerry Gregg from KYW News Radio has his story. This is me. That's, right there. That's me right there. This is William Thompson. 75 years ago, he was part of the 92nd Infantry Division. These so-called Buffalo Soldiers did not fight on D-Day, but went into combat in Italy just a few weeks later. What they call shrapnel when the shell hits it. Thompson earned several medals, including a Purple Heart for his service, but black soldiers fought more than just the Nazis. They faced racism from fellow white American soldiers. We just found prejudice all the way going and coming in, in, in Italy. At 97 years young, Thompson was lucky. He made it home to a full life and is well enough to take on a new battle, this time for a fellow soldier. So he was your classmate? He was my classmate. Thompson and Waverly Bernard Woodson Jr. both graduated from Overbrook High School in 1940, and they fought in World War II. But Woodson was part of the all-black 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion, which used balloons to destroy enemy aircraft. He worked as a medic, storming the shores of Normandy on D-Day. He said he could see the soldiers were just being just plucked off just like flies. Joanne Snowden Woodson has been on a mission to get her late husband the Medal of Honor for years. He saved more than 200 lives on D-Day and was nominated for the high honor but never received it. A 1973 fire destroyed all but one memo documenting his service, but his wife will not give up. People need to know the truth. They really need to know the truth. It is very unfair. Very unfair. Thompson, like Joanne Woodson, is on the front lines, fighting to get Corporal Woodson the recognition he deserves. What would it mean to you for Mr. Waverly Woodson to get that Medal of Honor? I would be satisfied with my life. He hopes that by sharing Waverly Woodson's D-Day story, that someone who can lift him up will hear it. Cherry Gregg, KWW News Radio for CBS3 Albinist News.